Good morning, everybody. I am actually here at a Trump graveyard in Columbia, Virginia. And as you can see behind me, there are a bunch of abandoned vehicles. And I just um, had a good conversation with the owner of this land who gave me permission and access to these vehicles. And he said that there are a ton of vehicles out here that his father collected for such a long time. And the fact to have access to them, man, that makes me so happy. So come join me as we look at these crazy, awesome, abandoned trucks. All right, so this is a the beginning of the line of trucks um, that they have at this, uh, <clears throat> technically, I guess they call it a truck graveyard. <laughs> so let's start with this one. Got the Bulldog on there, the Mac, the Armadine Diesel. Wow, man. Well, I should have asked um, the guy, but I like, like I said, he was a very, very nice guy. His name is Glenn, and um, I wouldn't want to bother him and, you know, have him come out here and explain the history of every single truck that he has out here. And there actually is another section that he told me where there's other trucks, um, you know, that he gave me permission to go over there and look at as well. But like I said, I, I would not want to bother him and have him come out here and explain every single abandoned truck out here. Like I said, I can probably just look up, look it up online and see the, the year of when it was manufactured. The size of these tires right here. Whew. Imagine getting rolled over by that. Another reason why, like I said, today it's uh, it is March. It is actually a, a cold day, but I'm kind of glad that I came over here on a colder day because spring and summer is upon us, and which means everything over here is gonna start being overgrown. Which means there's gonna be more snakes and spiders out here. So this is a perfect time to be here where nothing's overgrown yet, you know. But I know he said not to um, open the trucks. So I will not do that. And this seems very, very tight in here. Wow. I'm really in love with this one. Well, I can't say this one's my favorite because I haven't seen all the other ones. But I'm really digging this one right now. Look at that. That's cool. You know, it doesn't take much to make me happy when it comes to abandoned things. So I think all of it is cool. Absolutely beautiful. All right. Let's move to this bad boy right here who has probably seen better days. Look at that window. Why did I think that was a bullet hole? People out here do it. Target practice. Nah, it's just a crack. This one. <coughs> Excuse me. White Freightliner. This one's a beast right here. See if I can get a peek on the inside. Hope everybody can see that. Kind of chilly this morning. Kind of chilly. Chilly, chilly. Oh, this one is open. Doesn't seem 
seem to, it doesn't look too bad. I mean, besides the rust, but the wires and stuff seem to be in pretty decent condition for a truck this old. And when I was talking to Glenn, he did say, did say that this, you know, being in his family, this whole land and these trucks being in his family for so long, um, they did actually sell um, quite a bit. I'm so curious to know what people paid for. I'm pretty sure it's a decent amount because obviously these beauties are antiques and whatnot so I'm sure they pay a decent price or maybe not sometimes people just give these things away because they just want to get rid of them you know clean up the land and they have something else on it so maybe they might have gotten a good deal who knows alright this is the fourth one This one has a tree. <laughs> I don't know why that cracks me up, but there's a tree <laughs> right there in the middle of it. That's hilarious. Oh, this one, the window is actually no longer intact. So I can actually put this right in there. Hope you guys can see that because I can. There's a window back there. It's amazing. I love that one. <laughs> this tree. Oh man, that's hilarious. Sorry, it's a windy day too. So I'm probably picking up a lot of uh, wind. The audio, so I'm sorry about that, guys. Just bear with me. <coughs> and it's freaking cold out here, too. Like, my hands are freezing. And the thing is, with a lot of these um, trucks, and uh, maybe just trucks in general, they don't seem to be very roomy at all. Maybe that's just how they manufactured them back in the day. Um, I don't know about trucks of today. I, to be honest with you, I've never been like in a truck of this, you know, this type of truck. I've never been in one. So I don't know if they're roomier, you know, like more room, but these just seem extremely like tight. But again, maybe that's. I just had, I always had cars all my life, so I've never really been, like I said, in a truck. So I don't know, you know, how much room is supposed to be. But it just seems like it's just like very, very tight, like tight quarters, you know. And I am watching my step. like to you know obviously you 
abandoned things, things that haven't moved for quite some time. These animals, you know, snakes like to take a residence in things that obviously don't move. And you just gotta be careful to not step on them because technically this is their home. And I'm going into, you know, if a snake happened to be in here, this is his home. He made these abandoned structures his home. So me going into his house, yeah, I gotta respect that. So let me just watch where I step. That's cool. This I really, really, really like this. With the the, the vines growing. Dude. That's cool. That's really, really cool. Wow. Whoa. Hold on. There's old Gatorade bottles in here. Wow. <laughs> that is, that's really, look, it, it's actually growing through the door panel the vines right here talk about mother nature claiming reclaiming any and everything <laughs> that's so dope that's hilarious That is, that, man, that, that's hilarious. The vine growing through. Okay, let's go to this one. That's cool. Ford must have been the, uh, your um, manufacturers of these uh, type of trucks back in the day. The window has like some um, discoloring. <coughs> Just be careful right over here. There's a lot of uh, brush over here, so I just want to make sure I'm not, like I said, stepping on anything. Anything besides a rattler, like a, a nail or something, because I did not bring my steel toe boots today, which I normally do, but I didn't. Wow, look at this bad boy right here. This is cool, too. I like this. Diamond tea. I guess you're just step up here and go on in. What is this? It's pretty cool, like how he was saying his um. His father has been collecting these things for so long and, um, you know, had it in the family for a while. So he actually had a true passion for, you know, these types of um, vehicles. And I think that's amazing. I really do. I love people that have, you know, a true passion for antiques, collect them, you know try to preserve them as best you can rather than just like throw them away sort of thing that you know things like that i really really do appreciate people taking the time to 
you know, hold on to these beautiful antiques that most people wouldn't even take the time to actually like look at, you know? So God bless Glenn's father and God bless Glenn as well, because Glenn is a very awesome dude who gave me the permission to come out here and see these dope, beautiful vehicles. Okay, now there's like sticks over here. I need to definitely watch where I'm stepping because I'm not trying to get a nail. But that means I have to get a tetanus shot. And I don't want that. A nail through the foot, you know. Another tree. This one is, is that the fire truck? Looks like one. Let's take a look at this. Oh my gosh, this one's beautiful. I like this one. Yeah. Look at all the gauges. Yep, there we go. Definitely a fire truck right there. What is that Burlesville Volunteer Fire Department? That is, okay. I know how I said the other truck, the first truck was my favorite. I think this is now my new favorite truck. This is freaking awesome. Oh my gosh, this is so awesome. Yep, this is my new favorite. Sorry, first truck, you're gone. You've been voted off the island. This is freaking beautiful. Oh my gosh. Oh. And of course, we got the Pepsi bottle. Every time I see a, uh, a Pepsi uh, bottle, I do have to laugh, for, laugh to myself because I, um, well, it's a running joke. If you want to know the joke behind the Pepsi, <laughs> why I always pick up on Pepsi bottles in my videos, there's a reason behind it. But I'm not going to really go into that because that has nothing to do with the video. Let's get back to what we're really here for. Okay. Lots of, lots of brush. Let me just be very, very mindful of where I step. That is freaking dope. Look at that light. The old school light. Oh, holy shit. This is so beautiful. Oh my gosh. Look at that seat. Oh my gosh, yeah. This is my new favorite truck. That is so freaking dope. Man, open, close. That's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Man, that is so cool. Look at the, uh, the hose. I wonder how many fires that this truck has been to to pretty much extinguish everything and put out the flames. I wonder. I would love to know the history on this one. That is, oof, man. 
Oh, I love it. I really love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> oh, can you hear the excitement in me? I told you. Doesn't take much to make me excited when it comes to anything abandoned. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's kind of hard to get to the front of this. Because we have this bad boy in the way, but I want to squeeze on through. You know what I'm gonna do? This is kind of tight over here. I'm gonna go around this way and come up the back way so you guys can see the last two trucks that we have on this side because there's an opening right here. Probably a truck that he said he probably sold was probably right over there. But um, yeah, I'm gonna come up on this side. <clears throat> got more oh shoot got more vines growing in there cool all right let me go on this side a dilapidated torn up tarp right there yeah let me go on this side it was just kind of hard trying to like squeeze through there with like all that long, you know, long things growing up and stuff. Wow. All right. Another uh, missing window. my hands are cold it is really cold compared to the last couple of days which were like in the 70s now it's back in the 50s that's why i cannot wait for spring to finally get here and then summer then this back and forth shit i want it to be nice and warm for good because i am not a fan of the cold at all Very quiet out here today. I love that. So peaceful and quiet. Just me and the uh, abandoned trucks. <laughs>
thing decided to run over, you can probably forget it. <laughs> this thing is solid. Yeah. Got his twin right here. Tagline for I still know what you did last summer. Get hooked. That was the tagline. Sorry, I just totally went into a movie mode. Another vehicle where the vines have taken over. <laughs> I love this. Cool. <laughs> I don't know why it cracks me up, but it does. The vines have taken over. Wasn't there a horror movie about? Oh, The Ruins. That movie, The Ruins. It was about like killer vines. Does anyone remember that movie, The Ruins? I think it was like 2008 it came out. And uh, the people were over in, they were over somewhere. And these vines were like killing them or some crap like that. But it was called The Ruins, I remember that. It kinda sucked too. Oh, look at that. Is that like a saw? Gold. Whoa. Yeah, I definitely should have worn my steel toe boots. Oh. Yo. That's freaking cool. 
that's that's pretty dope. I like that. That's dope. Okay, I'm trying to maneuver my way over here. Without getting hurt. That is so cool. You know me, I gotta touch everything. <laughs> joking when he said that his dad was a collector. What is that? I'm so glad that he allowed me to to film in here. out there <laughs> got two trucks over here all right let's go check these out I'm actually just gonna have to close this out right here because my battery is actually uh, dying. And I will pick this up, I will resume. So I'm back over here <clears throat> at this truck. Sorry, I had to go and get my battery charger for this phone. Um, Cause obviously I have an, old, an older iPhone and the battery gets depleted quickly when doing these videos so I had to go get my charger so now we're back in business I think this is where we uh, left off and here's the other truck Sierra Grande I like it I like it I like it a grande. <laughs> oh, that one. A wall in there. Well, this has everything growing back here in this bed. Wow. That's funny. And again, the vines have taken over the trucks. I love a Sierra Grande. Two Sierra Grandes. Here. I think he said some 
more trucks are there. That's probably about it. Alright. So let's move on. I know you said it is some more um, trucks at another location, so let's go to that location. Alright. So this is the other section of the truck graveyard that he was talking about. He said uh, a power company is actually renting this land. So that's why there's all this power stuff on the land. But he said they're renting it out. But he said that there's a whole bunch more of trucks to be seen. not lying his father was a true collector wow man another mac is this another mac it is it's the mac daddy bulldog <laughs> <laughs> i gotta laugh myself that's so cool I I wonder if he's gonna sell any of these on this side. Because he saw clearly on the other side there were a bunch. Um, let's go up here and get in. I definitely gotta um watch my step out here because it's severely overgrown over here more than it was on the other side so definitely got to be mindful of where I step still a lot of beautiful antique trucks out here do I see vines again Yes, I do. Vines growing. Ow. <laughs> I don't know why that kills me. Wow. It's a mess in there. There's like thorns out here. Yeah, I'm not going through there. That freaking hurts. Definitely glad I got my long pants on today. Oh. R85 series.
Okay, I actually see my eye on something interesting down there. I, I, I like your trucks. I love your trucks, but I'm going to have to take a break from these trucks for a little bit and go down here because I see something really, really nice. I spy something nice. The trucks are beautiful, but I want to see this. <sighs> Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. Oh my gosh. Wow. I just saw this one with distance and I'm like, yeah, I want to go down there and look at that. The trucks are interesting, but I like this. <laughs> All right, let's go to this side. I can definitely see why it's uh, dubbed the truck graveyard. Anything out here will, will literally snag your leg and whatnot. And it's funny how like I pass this place all the time and I never knew like any of this was over here. Because um, I always have something else to do, so I'm not really paying attention, you know? Is that a barrel? That's cool. But it's, you know, you don't realize um, these, you know, these antique structures are around you when you're not really paying attention you know a little bird over there Severely overgrown. I 
definitely getting my steps in today. <laughs> Let me see if I can go this way. <clears throat> Mac Daddy. <laughs> Ow. Everything's just ripping me up out here. Some vines. This one has the door off. Ow, yeah. Ow. Everything is like caught on me. It's worse over here. Go back through the vine patch. Go back this way. Still my my second favorite vehicle of the day. The first one was that the Mack truck. That first one was my favorite, but then I switched it to that beautiful Burlesville fire truck. That was my favorite vehicle, and then that is my second favorite vehicle. <laughs> or can I just have three? Can I just do the Mack? Earl's Real Fire Truck and that. My top three favorite vehicles out here. <laughs>
Gold Foam. And that's my fourth favorite vehicle of the day. That is beautiful. Mustang right there. I believe that's a Mustang, right? Yeah. Ow. Side. We got the trailers. That's pretty much about it. We've seen a lot of trucks today. Absolutely beautiful gorgeous antiques that are, you know, kept on this property and away from being tossed in the trash. And again, I got to thank Glenn and thank Glenn's father for <laughs> obtaining these beautiful relics and I gotta thank Glenn for allowing me to come onto his property and film these beauties. Okay.